I'm Matt Samia. I head up the Cinematics Group, and uh, I also participated a bit in directing this show. I'd like to talk a bit about the sheeping shot. So in the game, obviously, uh, one of the cooler things you can do is turn your opponent into a sheep. And one aspect of it that's really, uh, it really makes it cool in the game is it, it's somewhat humorous. Right? I mean, it's just, it's just funny. It's a cool thing to do because it makes you giggle, right? So we thought, why not get a bit of that into our intro? What makes this game really special and interesting is there, there is an underlying humor uh, in a lot of ways. And so we wanted to start to get that, sort of start to bring that aspect into what we're doing here and uh, see if it doesn't, it doesn't resonate with the, with the players a bit. Uh, so it turns out that uh, modeling a sheep, creating a sheep in CG is not actually as straightforward as you might think. It had to meet several criterion. One is it has to look like a sheep. The other is it has to strike a balance between reality and fantasy, and it has to just be kind of funny. So we went through several hairstyles trying to find what, what is the optimal sheep haircut going to be for this shot, and uh, well, settled on the one that seemed to work the best. Greetings, I am Wolfgang Amadeus Wiffelball. I am the director of Ultra Marination here at Blizzard Entertainment. When Blizzard needed a reference for a torrent turning into a sheep, they had to turn to me, the foremost authority on marination in the world. Ultra marination, it is puppetry for the 21st century. We use only the finest puppets, the finest materials. The strings, they are now nanomicrofibers. They are invisible to the human eye. Some people think, is this a real torrent? No, it is one of my finest marionettes. Oh. One of the things that we wanted to do in this intro was to tie it into the last intro. We wanted to bring back some of the characters that we had seen previously. We wanted to get the mage back in there. We wanted to get the undead back in there. Uh, that's a couple of examples. But we wanted them to have been through some adventures in this world. We wanted them to have lived a bit. We wanted them to have some epic gear. So this is actually the same mage that we saw before. Difference is now he's got way cooler junk. He's actually got a haircut, too, for some reason, that we can't quite explain. But other than that, he's the same guy. 